What if I tell you that if a patient in future requires a kidney transplant or a liver transplant, you could just go and give a print command in the printer and you could bring that liver or a kidney and replace it. Well, this seems like a science fiction, right? We all have seen that in Hollywood movies. But looks like whatever used to be science fiction is becoming a reality in, a, in the physical world slowly, right? So if you see, we were seeing the... Uh, you know, gesture controlled computers in the science fiction movies and today you have Apple 3D glasses which is going to come. So basically, whatever was fiction of yesterday is becoming science of today and a reality of the future, right? Now, one thing my mentor told me and taught me and that's something, something I want to pass on to you is you have to be ahead of the trend. You have to be, you have to stay ahead of the trend in technology. You have to learn newer technologies and then only you can become the foundation of the formative years of that field. And when you become the founda foundation or the founding person or the, uh, the only person for that particular field in your country or your area, then your value increases. For example, if you are a physician in your area and there are 100 physicians, you will get less patients. But if you, if you are a cardiac surgeon, you are a specialist, so you will get more patients. So that's how it actually works. Now coming to today's topic, which is 3D bioprinting. So 3D bioprinting is in the formative years. It is yet to take off, but the field seems exciting. The field seems really amazing. And let me tell you, while I was doing the background work on this, while before I started making this video, it really excited me. So the thought itself that tomorrow you could replace the entire organ donation industry. Tomorrow you could in replace the entire um, you know animal testing or uh, you could have if somebody lost their limbs and you could print it and attach it back to their limbs it's, it's something amazing it's a feeling which no other feeling can replace right so that is where the world of 3d bioprinting comes into picture now to define 3d bioprinting it is something like manufacturing living tissues using a 3d bioprinter using 3D bioprinting technology. Now, the history traces back to 2009. That was when, for the first time, we printed an organ using 3D bioprinter, right? And since then, so you can imagine, this is 2023, 2009, for the first time it was printed. So this industry is pretty new, like 14 years old. That means it has tremendous potential to grow in the future and a lot of research is going on. But now there are three aspects you have to pay attention to. The first is to generate something like that, you need biologists who have very good understanding of the human physiology, right? So that's the first thing or animal physiology if it is animals, right? So animal physiology. The second thing is this will demand some kind of a biomedical engineer. So if you are not a biologist, if you're a biomedical engineer, even then you can get into this. And the third thing is understanding the 3D bioprinter mechanics. So all of that will be into, you know, will uh, come into picture. The future of 3D bioprinting is going to be exciting. It is going to replace animal testing. It is going to replace human organ donation. It is going to also replace, I mean, replacement for limbs like prosthetics right so biomedical prosthetics which we have today that will completely get replaced by you know 3d bioprinted organs so that is where the future of 3d bioprinting uh, exists and let me know in the comment section what is your uh, feeling about this i'm super excited excited about it if you are excited let me know in the comment section so the career path which if we want to define it today like it's pretty new but let's try to define the career path which you can have in the future in this uh, segment is if you are a biologist you can probably become a tissue engineer so you can create and develop new methods of 3d bioprinting and tissue engineering so that is where the tissue engineer will come into picture another will be of course if you are a biologist you can transform yourself into a research scientist so you can conduct scientific research and ana analysis and further the understanding and applications of 3D printing. So that's another application where you can become. The third is obviously I said, if you are a biomedical engineer, you can go in as a biomedical engineer so that you are contributing towards the right kind of printed organ size, shape and everything. So that is where biomedical engineer will come into picture. And prob probably if you have some kind of experience in um, prosthetics, that will really help. The fourth will be, of course, a bioprinting technician where you are responsible to operate and maintain a 3D bioprinting equipment. So basically, you will be someone who will be working with doctors or researchers to produce uh, custom parts and organs and you will be kind of an operator. 
So these are the four type of roles probably in um, we can define. But now comes the question is what kind of skill set you will require and what kind of uh, you know softwares you will be using. So of course you will be designing an organ, right? So obviously you're going to design it within a computer. So that means you need to have knowledge of 3D modeling softwares, which will help you design this particular. So right now in the market, there are a lot of 3D marketing softwares for uh, 3D printing softwares, modeling softwares, which you can use, and that will help you design this end product. The second will be obviously the science, which you have already studied, and that is background in biology or chemistry, and of course, technology to understand complex processes which is involved in 3D bioprinting. So, you know, one of the best ways of getting started in this field is reading a lot of research papers and review articles in this segment. Now, the third point will be obviously understanding the technology. Now, by that, what I mean to say is in addition to design and science, knowledge and proficiency in technology such as computer programming and engineering will be highly valued. So if you uh, have that, that will be an add-on and you should be able to troubleshoot 3D bio equipment, bioprinting equipment. So all of these skill set will be desired in the future from you. The question comes is who will give me all of this training? So there are various uh, labs, university programs, not in India, university programs abroad, in India, we have we are seeing workshops and boot camps and virtual training happening for 3D bioprinting. In fact, Biotechnica is also coming, going to come up with our own 3D bioprinting workshop very, very soon. So that is where you can learn virtually and implement it and get a hands-on demonstration of this. So training and education options is going to be there in the future, but this is something which you should learn. And my suggestion to you is start by reading the success stories. For example, you, you must have heard of the heart on a chip uh, a success story where a bioprinted chip was created to test the efficacy of heart medication and reduce the animal testing. Now, the second one is uh, where there was a uh, bioengineered, bioprinted trachea was used. So a trachea transplant uh, using a bioprinted scaffold and the patient's stem cells was used to successfully perform, uh, perform marking a major uh, milestone in regenerative medicine. And the third, which I remember is a 3D bioprinted ear, which was inserted in the in a mouse and then it was uh, used to check the feasibility of bioprinting complex organs using a bioprinter. So these are the success stories which we have at this juncture. Now, what are the next steps, actionable steps for you to unlock the career is research. So start doing your own research, go to Statista and of course Google, find out the companies which are working on this. And of course, I'm going to give you a list as well. Gain some experience, attend workshops, webinars, um, offline, online, do some research projects in the government labs, wherever the, this is happening, develop some skill set, And then of course, network, attend a lot of conferences on 3D bioprinting, reach out to people who can help you, guide you and help you grow in this career. Now, some of the uh, some of the companies which we have for this particular 3D bioprinting globally, in the United States, you have Organavo, which is a company known for creating 3D human tissue for various drug testing and disease modeling and regenerative med medicine research. Then you have Cellink, which is a Sweden-based company. So it is not really into exactly bioprinting, but they sell bioprinting technology such as bio inks and uh, re related products enabling researchers to, uh, you know, 3D print human uh, tissues and organs. The third is Aspect Biosystems, which is in Canada. So they focus on creating cutting edge 3D bioprinting platforms and technologies for therapeutic and research purposes in the field of regenerative medicine and discovery. The fourth one which we have is Envision Tech, which is in Germany. So it primarily specializes in 3D bioprinting solutions for various industries, not just biology, but all other industries also. And they have a strong presence in the bioprinting uh, sector, offering bioprinting materials and allied services. Now, there's another company which I remember, it is called as Rocket Healthcare, which is based out of South Korea. Now, this particular uh, bioprinting solution, they, they're developing bioprinting solution for medical and pharmaceutical applications, including 3D bioprinting systems and bio inks for tissue engineering and manufacturing. Now, coming to India, like, are there any companies working on 3D uh, bioprinting in India? So, we do have Pandorum Technologies, which is based out of Bangalore. Uh, they're doing uh, 3D printed human tissues and organs. Then you have Makerspace India. They are uh, an important player in Indian 3D printing space, uh, including medical applications such as bioprinting. 
Then we have uh, Voxel Grid. It is an Indian startup which spe specializes in 3D printing and bioprinting technology with a focus on advanced research and innovation in the field of regenerative medicine. Then we have Next Big Innovation Labs, which is um, incubated at Atal Innovation Center. It's right in here in Bangalore. It's a startup focusing on biofabrication and aims to develop novel 3D printing solutions for pharmaceutical testing. They have a lot of bioprinters also. Next we have is Osteo 3D which primarily concentrates on 3D printing customized implants for orthopedic applications. So they are actively involved in medical 3D bioprinting space. So these are the four or five uh, companies in India and I told you uh, foreign companies also. Coming to the question that will this technology really take off? Is it fake uh, trend or is it going to be a tradition of the future? Now only time can tell but at this juncture the kind of investments we are seeing into 3D bioprinting and the excitement which we are seeing definitely if you jump into this space, uh, this is a bigger space than the, any of the other space which you see because it eliminates animal testing which a lot of people are talking about that we are doing injustice to animals. It replaces the organ donation industry which is a big pain for all others and of course um, it uh, helps you uh, replace the prosthetics with the real limb. So of course it works. So probably in the next 50 years we will see a lot of uh, innovation in this space. So if you want to make a career, let me know in the comment section so that we can come up with more programs, more videos on bioprinting in uh, the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.